Welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition, S. Timoshenko, B. H. Yang, J. V. Rao, Sukumar, Party. In this video, we will discuss problem set 2.3 and problem number 2.23. A ball of weight Q, 53.4 newtons, rests in a right angled trough as shown in the figure. Determine the forces exerted on the sides of the trough at D and E if all surfaces are perfectly smooth. That means a ball of weight Q rests on this right angled trough as shown in the figure. Our interest is to find the reactions that are developed at these two supports D and E. The point we need to remember is, if any body is supported, then reaction force will develop at that point and that reaction force is always perpendicular to the support and it is towards the body. Let us see what are the various forces that are acting on the system. The first force is the self-weight Q acts downwards. Next one, the reaction force developed here. Now this force is perpendicular to the surface and it is towards the body. And if you extend this force, this will intersect this point. Clearly, the ball is supported at point E. So a reaction force will develop at E which is perpendicular to the surface CB and it is towards the body. And if you extend this force, this will also intersect this point. Now all three forces are intersecting at this point. That's why this is known as a concurrent force system. Let this force is Rd and let this reaction force is Re. Now, in order to analyze the system, let us transfer all these forces onto a separate xy plane. Let me draw in another xy plane like this. Now, I am transferring all the forces. The first force is the self weight, that is. Q is equal to 53.4 Newtons. Next, this force RE, I am transferring like this and the force is RD, transferring like this. The important point is we need to identify the angles made by all these forces. Q force is acting along Y axis. But RD and RE, these two forces are inclined forces we need to identify the angles made by these two forces. Now, first you look at that BC or RE force. RE force is perpendicular to BC. And given that the BC makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal, that means the perpendicular to BC makes the same angle 60 degrees with the vertical or in other words the reaction force Re makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal. Now that 30 degrees I am transferring to this. Similarly Rd force and that the surface AB makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal that means the perpendicular to AB makes same 30 degrees angle but with the vertical or you can say that force makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. That 60 degrees I am transferring to my XY plane. Now clearly we can see there are three forces and all three forces are intersecting at the one particular point and all three forces are divergent, so I can apply sign rule comfortably. A separate video is made to understand the concept of sign rule. Please watch it from RK Tutorials. 
Now, according to the sign rule, the force Q divided by the angle between the other two forces. What are the other two forces? RE and RD. How much is this angle, my dear friends? So, here RE makes an angle 30 degrees with the horizontal. That means this makes an angle 60 degrees with the vertical. Similarly, RD makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal. That means this makes an angle 30 degrees with the vertical. Hence, the angle between RE and RD becomes 90. So, I can write Q divided by sine 90. Q means 53.4. 53.4 divided by sine 90 is equal to RD divided by RD divided by. I want the angle between other two forces. What are the other two forces? RE and Q. How much is this angle? Already given that this is 30 and the remaining, of course, this is 90. So, this I can consider as 90 plus 30, which is equal to 120. That means RD divided by sine 120. That is equal to RE divided by the angle between other two forces. What are the other two forces? RD and Q. I want the angle between RD and Q. Given that RD makes an angle 60 degrees with the x axis already known. So, what is this angle now? So, this is already 60 and this is 90. So, I can write this one as 60 plus 90. This is equal to 150. That means RE divided by sine 150. So, this is the equation I can write from the concept of sine rule. Now, take these two equations. RD by sine 120 is equal to 53.4 divided by sin 90. Or I can write RD is equal to 53.4 by sin 90 into sin 120, which gives the value of 46.25 Newtons is your answer. Similarly, take these two equations. Expressions. RE by sin 150 is equal to 53.4 by sin 90. Or I can write RE is equal to 53.4 by sin 90 into sin 150, which gives the value of 26.7 Newtons. So, these two are the reaction forces that are developed at the points D and E. We can also solve the same problem by using resolution of the forces. I have prepared a separate video on the concept of resolution of a force. Please watch it from RK tutorials. Now, let us resolve all these three forces onto X and Y axis. Q is 53.4, that is along Y axis, you need not to resolve. But RD makes an angle 60 degrees with the horizontal, that means I can resolve this force into along X axis and Y axis. I can say that this value is RD into cos 60 and the other one becomes sin because RD makes 60 degrees with the horizontal. So, horizontal component is the cos component. You can see this is RD cos 60 and this is RD sin 60. Similarly, I want to resolve this RE along X and Y axis. So, these are the two directions of the components. RE makes an angle 30 with the horizontal. That's why horizontal component is cos component, the other component is sine component. So, that I can write Re into cos 30 and this is Re into sine 30. Now, apply equilibrium equations. First, let us consider sigma fx is equal to 0. I will consider this direction is my positive direction. That means Rd cos 60 is equal to Re cos 30. Substituting the values, cos 60 is 0.5, cos 30 is 0.866, then I will get Rd is equal to 1.732 Re. Let this equation number 1. Similarly, sigma Fy is equal to 0. I will consider the upward direction is my positive direction. That means Rd sin 60 
plus Re sin 30 is equal to 53.4. So I can substitute sin 60 is 0 0.866, sin 30 is 0 0.5, then I will get one equation 0 0.866 Rd plus 0.5 Re is equal to 53.4. Now from equation 1, I know Rd is equal to 1.732 Re. Substitute here, upon substituting, I will get 0.866 into, in place of Rd, I am substituting 1.732 Re. And 0.5 Re is equal to 53.4. So, that I can simplify this equation. I will get only one equation in terms of Re, that is 2 into Re is equal to 53.4 or Re is equal to 26.7 Newton. This is your answer. By substituting this Re in equation 1, I can calculate Rd. Rd is equal to 1.732 Re. This is from equation 1. And I am substituting Re is equal to 26.7. Then I will get Rd is equal to 46.25 Newtons. And these two are the answers for this problem.